right so all those things we'll see today and uh, just give me a second I'll just give me a second I'll switch on the screen Okay, <clears throat> so first of all, what is that you are going to do as an SAP FICO consultant? First, let us discuss some introduction regarding uh, the project and as an SAP FICO consultant, how the team will be, what is your role, responsibilities, then we'll discuss about the project, whatever you are going to take up. Right, so as an FICO consultant, <clears throat> you'll be a part of the team and the team team will be consisting of say like this say for example implementation partner and end user company so implementation partner let us think about so we are part of say IBM right part of IBM we are team member the total project will be headed by a delivery head right or delivery manager <clears throat> this delivery manager is responsible for the total execution of the project and uh, under him there will be a project manager the project manager will be reporting to the delivery head or delivery manager and he'll be taking care of the day-to-day -day ongoing of the project with the help of this team members <coughs> right and uh, the team will be <coughs> The total team members will be consisting of FICO team, materials management team, sales and distribution team, production planning, HR, like that whatever the functional modules that they are going to implement, the total teams will be there. And apart from that, we'll have a technical team and technical team consisting of basis and a map. Right. And from the end user company. Say for example, end user, uh, so we are going to take up a company called, um, say, Navbharat Ferro Alliance, NBFA. One minute. <coughs> right, NBFA, that is called Navbharat Ferro Alliance. <coughs> so it is a company based, uh, the corporate office situated in Hyderabad. And uh, say, for example, the, our team is going to implement SAP to them. So implement means what? They'll buy the new software, completely SAP licenses they buy. And uh, once they buy the SAP licenses, we study their business process. After studying their business process, configure the SAP system as per their requirement. And uh, <clears throat> we'll hand over the system to them and they will use the SAP software, right? That's called the implementation. So for that, they will have, they'll have IT head. So IT head and delivery manager on par here. And the IT manager will be there. He'll be coordinating with the project manager. And we'll form a core team. See, because when our team members are going to implement SAP, first of all, we have to study. We have to discuss with the users. We have to understand their requirement. The requirement, whatever you understood, that has to be mapped into SAP. So for that purpose, we need some team members who has to help us in making us to understand their requirement. <clears throat> so that's why the core team members will be consisting of one person from finance, right? This is, we call them as core team, nothing but core users. Core 
core users right the core users will be uh, i request all of you to keep on scribbling pad with you or open on scribbling pad in your lender system and uh, any new things just you can type and you can just note it down <clears throat> right uh, so core team members this core team the core users will be participating in day to day meetings with the end users uh, with the consulting team because what of the information we require we have to take from the core team <clears throat> because after all they know the business process everything everything they know about their company that's why we need their help to implement sap without their cooperation we cannot do anything right what they require how the reports how the system current system is working so all those things we have to take from them so that's why their cooperation is very much needed for us <clears throat> uh, similarly one person from finance maybe who knows the total business process core team for the purpose of understanding the business process who knows very well about their day to day operations <clears throat> now uh, one person from procurement that is materials department right from materials department this is from sales and distribution department production department hr and admin like this each and every respective uh, department person will be coordinating with their respective module consultant here and uh, basis consultant of course he'll be uh, generally what we do a basis consultant in the beginning we deploy one basis consultant from the implementation partner and uh, subsequently we advise every company to have a basis consultant we need one basis consultant and he'll be taking care of the the total basis operations of the system until a basis consultant is going to be appointed by the end user company right our basis consultant will be coordinating and will be helping them now abap consultants abap consultants there is no corresponding uh, abap consultant here because abap consultant will be from the implementation partner team and whatever their requirements as per the requirements of the end users he will be helping in developing the reports right he will be helping in developing the reports whatever they require and those reports will be in consultation with the fi or mm the functional consultant and this abap consultant will be preparing it um, maybe uh, forming a new forms creating new forms creating new reports uh, any new program that new applications will be developed all the things will be done by abap consultant with the help of the respective functional consultant so functional cons consultant will be getting the information from these people and we develop like this so so this is the total team <clears throat> now in fico team how many members will be there maybe uh, if it is a big company it will be minimum around uh, say three consultants say i can say that this is one team lead one consultant and one junior consultant like that right similarly in each team around two to three consultants will be there because one person will take care of the financial accounting another person will take care of the controlling another junior person will be generally what we do we accompany we make one uh, junior consultant to accompany him or a trainee will be accompanying the team so that uh, he'll be learning the total the sap part that is implementation because otherwise if only one consultant or two consultants are going to the project and what about the new consultant those who are going to join so that's why when there are two new consultants so one apprentice guy like that <clears throat> we'll send them but this may not be the case in all the uh, implementations some companies they say no we want only uh, experienced people in such case we don't but 90% they will not bother because when we are giving them say around two or three experienced consultants we are deputing right they will not have any problem and uh, we say that yes that person is required for the purpose of helping the other two consultants so the total team that is going to be deployed will be approved by even end user company right 90% whatever the team that we send them they will without any problem they will accept it 
right so it is our responsibility to see that project is delivered properly here team leads will be responsible <coughs> right uh, team lead will be on day to day basis for every team lead will be uh, regularly in touch with the project manager and they will discuss and see the activities what they are going <clears throat> whether things are moving properly as per the project plan we are going ahead or not here i need to tell you one thing when we go ahead with a project we need to prepare a blueprint right uh, let me so on the other day we were yeah so i told you that there's a methodology called asap methodology asap methodology accelerated sap asap means accelerated sap see when we are going to implement sap project if the project is given to me right i'll be implementing the project as per my experience my knowledge <clears throat> if it is given to mr x he'll be doing as per his experience and his way but is it going to be there in all the cases no what sap has done whoever it may be better you follow this asap methodology this methodology is given by sap itself and they say that don't deviate from the methodology so that everyone whoever it may be has to follow all this uh, this methodology and these phases each and every phase is consisting of so many activities again <clears throat> so first one is project preparation phase so in the project preparation phase we are going to identify uh, the what you call um, the requirements of the party see even before we commence the project before we commence the project we'll have the scope of the project we'll keep the scope we means here the project manager project manager keeps the project scope and discuss with each and every individual project team lead uh, team leads and uh, he'll explain them yes this is the requirement and the team leads will plan their work <clears throat> so during the project preparation phase we will plan many things say for example project preparation defining the scope of the project and we prepare some as is document as is document means as it is the existing the project uh, existing system whatever is there that we study and we prepare a document as is means as it is the existing right so this will be prepared by generally it has to be prepared by the end users because they know their process so that's why they prepare the total business document the current business document business processes whatever they are doing see when a company is moving from their existing uh, software to sap means they are not comfortable with the existing software that is the reason they are moving to sap right now we have to discuss with them what are their existing uh, the legacy system problems and we have to plan how to overcome those existing problems and how to map the requirements into the sap all those things will be planned and here we plan for their uh, uh, how many servers right, and configuration everything we plan here right so many list of activities are there that we'll see later when we go to the project phase right so that is called this is project preparation phase so during the project preparation phase so many activities will be there those things will be done number two <clears throat> second point is second phase business blueprint so business blueprint is nothing but we plan each and everything accurately what is that we have to do what is the requirement everything see we have prepared as is document in the earlier stage in the earlier stage as is document is nothing but um amit uh, i think there's no problem from my side check your mic okay okay sir okay sir all right so uh, pre in the previous stage we prepare 
as his document the existing business process and now we are going to prepare business blueprint uh, can you mute your mic yes sir All right so in the blueprint stage we prepare a business blueprint so business blueprint is going to have the total details of how we are going to map their requirements what are the features that we are going to give all those things to study the business process of the client and generate the business master list means a list of activities whatever that are required by the company and question answer database will be prepared and uh, prepare the business blueprint and get the blueprint signed off so the blueprint will be consisting of so many activities all those activities we plan uh, just give me a second i'll show you even that uh, business blueprint document Just see, see, this is uh, as is document in the previous stage i told you see as is document see as is document is nothing but it will be like this as is and to be summary see this is as a document we prepare and what is their existing project what is the financial year they are using what are the chart of accounts they use what is the currency they use what the general ledger they use right so many uh, the existing processes we plan how they are posting the journal entries right how they are uh, following the voucher numbers and uh, inventory accounts stocks etc how they are do doing and how they are maintaining their customer accounts and customer numbers vendor accounts and vendor numbers and the payments right bank payments and uh, how the receipts are planned cash so everything we put as a document and when coming to the blueprint and also business process document each and every business process will prepare a document right even electricity bills how we are going to make payment past process will be written step number one two three like that so each and every everything will be planning meticulously Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Uh, will you be able to provide us those documents so that we can study? Yeah, we'll be do that. Not now. Once we go to the project stage, I'll be giving you because here we are not going to see in detail. Just here we are okay. going to see only uh, just explaining. That's it. Right in the beginning. Uh, once we complete the course, I'll be taking up your project uh, maybe around two or three days. So at that time, I'll be handing over all these documents to you. Right. See, like this business blueprint will be there. And it will be signed off by all the people. And it will contain all the details like uh, um, organization structure, the introduction of the project for the stakeholders. Right. Their organization structure. Right, their organization structure will be in SAP how we are going to do so all those things will be planning meticulously and we prepare a document and here the business process architecture uh, create general ledger master record create vendor master create customer masters all these things so many bunch of documents are there I'll share everything with you once we um, complete this uh, the project scenario then we go at the end I'll explain like once again 
and I'll give these documents to you, right? So we'll prepare a blueprint. So blueprint will have all the details that are required for going ahead with the project. Then third phase is realization. Realization is nothing but configuration. Baseline configuration, final configuration, and uh, some testing, etc. Integration test, cyclic tests, project documentation. So all those things will be done during the third phase, that is realization. So, so in the case of realization, this is what you are going to learn first, right? This two and a half to three months, what you are going to learn from these sessions is complete configuration. This is the most crucial part, which is going to take lots of time. Time and you need to understand the requirements of the client. Then only we can prepare this realization. Right, so realization, complete configuration of the system. Here it is going to be the final preparation. Once we complete the realization, fourth stage is going to be the re final preparation. So in the final preparation, we'll be uh, taking up their opening balances, right? Fine tuning the data transfer from legacy system or setting up data by manual entry. Here what we do, their existing, see here we have to gradually and carefully switch over from their existing legacy system to the uh, current system of SAP. So during that time, we have to transfer their opening balances from legacy system to uh, the new system of SAP. Similarly, create all their customers and vendors, assets, GL accounts, everything first we create, then transfer the data from legacy system to SAP system because they have to use that system. Even inventories, how many warehouses do we have? So the total warehouses, total uh, inventories in respect to warehouses, again, we have to transfer all the warehouses and uh, hand over the system to them. And uh, end users should be trained. So we have to train them. Otherwise, they cannot use the system. This training will start from the beginning, right? Training will be started from the beginning. And uh, by the time we complete the project, the training should be completed and the user should be comfortable enough to enter their day-to-day -day data into the their system. So that's why fine tuning of the data transfer from legacy system or setting up the data by manual entry, end user training and final system check. So just before go live of a project, before go live of a, when launching the racket, they'll have 24 hours countdown will be there. During that period system will make all the checks and they'll be carefully observing it. Similarly, even here, before we hand over the system, we'll do all the system checks, hardware checks, software checks, project checks, all those checks will be there, right? The configuration checks, everything will check. And then finally, we declare go live, right? One day, the final day, what we do, we call all the people and uh, project the total SAP system. We ask the head of that uh, unit or the managing director, or the finance director, whoever it may be, we call them, right? And uh, we'll ask them to enter one entry, maybe uh, inventory or sales or financial entry, whatever it may be, right? They will enter and they will post one entry in front of all the people. Then you clap it, everybody will clap it, distribute some sweets, hand over and declare that project has been completed. And from that day onwards, we hand over the complete system to the users and from then onwards the users will be will start using the system by themselves but we have to be with them and we have to handhold and we have to help them for some time maybe a month or so uh, and uh, we'll take it forward maybe generally as per the agreement after completion of the implementation minimum three to four months we have to be with them. The total team will be with the users and uh, will be helping them in entering the data and prepare the financial statements uh, like uh, profit and loss account, balance sheet and everything for every month, right? Generally, once uh, people are uh, taking up SAP, every month we take balance sheet and payroll account. Every month we close the accounts and we, we don't allow the people to enter the data again in the previous month, right? We'll go ahead like that. Without SAP, uh, I don't think all systems, all people are using um, monthly finalization of accounts. Here monthly, we prepare financial statements. Monthly, we arrive at the profitability and so that management will have
clear idea how our business is going on so for that purpose so what we make them we'll will prepare the balance sheet and the financial statements for the months and they'll be doing parallel learn, right so parallelly they will use their legacy system also because once they switch over from legacy system to sap they cannot all the way stop immediately at least minimum two to three months they have to work on their legacy system and also onto the new system both and they compare the results check the financial statements whether everything is correct or not so then we'll discard the legacy system and they'll go ahead with the sap system then the entire team the sap team who are the consulting team who will be with the uh, generally with the end user place wherever it may be generally we'll be traveling to that place we sit there and we complete the project then the team will be coming back to the their base location and from there we give them the support that is called support project and uh, as long as we sit with them and we complete the project this is complete end to end implementation project once we come back to the base location and the team will be supporting them right from the offshore so because we can uh, take the system from wherever you are they will be establishing uh, one support methodology some tools will be there whatever the issues users get they will be sending their doubts their uh, queries or their issues through that uh, tool or a mailing system and that will be tracked by the here team will be support team will be there again support team will be headed by one project manager and all the consultants will be there it need not necessarily be the same team whoever has implemented but the team will be giving kt that is knowledge transfer to the supporting team because generally for the new consultants we keep them in the support team because support team requires um, they, they don't require that much of knowledge uh, for going for the implementation right if you are participating in the implementation there you require expert knowledge and for giving support you need not necessarily have that much so that's why we take the some new consultants to the support or the junior consultants whoever have attended the uh, project they'll be doing the support right sometimes some companies will ask the entire team to stay back in the in the implementation location and they will be giving them the support for uh, maybe one half a year or an year once users are accustomed to the sap software sap system and uh, people will come back and completely hand over to the support team and 90% uh, of the companies will continue with the support because even lifelong they continue the support because that is every day day to day they'll be getting issues and some new things will be required it is not that see until it is it gets stabilized what some people they will have their own support team but most of the people will be taking support from the sap companies right so this is the the general project scenario I have one question, yeah, Sayan. Please. Yeah, please go ahead. Uh, how the legacy system and the SAP can run together during uh, initial first two months? Yeah. Uh, does the entry has to be done uh, separately? Yeah. See, legacy system. Say, for example, the legacy system they are using maybe QuickBooks or Tally, some other thing. So data will be entered into both the systems. Right, all the data, every day, whatever the data that has to be, they are entering into the, uh, the legacy system. So it will be entered into the uh, that tally system as well as into the SAP system. Both will enter, the same data will be entered into both the system. <coughs> or otherwise, what we do? So there will be the double, it will be doubling of work. They Double. are having the existing people. Correct, correct. It has to be. There is no other way because you cannot discard the legacy system immediately as soon as we up the SAP system mm -hmm. because they yeah. should trust number one they have to get accustomed and we don't know if they are not going to do correctly and we'll be getting wrong results in SAP. So that's the reason we encourage right. them to go with the, that will be in the plan itself right it will be in the plan they have to go with the 
uh, simultaneous run of both the legacy as well as the new system okay. and they compare the results right you're welcome right mm -hmm. so uh, this is the total team and they will be <clears throat> see in the beginning the total team members will go with the will go to the concerned uh, team members say for example FICO team FICO, FICO team will go and meet the finance manager and general manager we uh, we listen to their requirement first well, let's take only one FICO team since we are taking up the FICO so we'll take up uh, the FICO team along with the project manager we'll go to finance manager or general manager finance we discuss with them in the initial stages in the beginning we'll, we'll have to listen the lectures and because general manager says that yeah, See, our company, we are doing, we are following the legacy system wherein we are not getting complete requirement. As per our requirement, that system is not there. That's the reason we are moving to SAP. So our requirement is like this. Number one, two, three, four. So everything we, we record that uh, meeting discussions, right? Generally, we'll have some recording equipment will be there. Small equipment will be there. It will store around 10 GB of data. And uh, sometimes if you do not have that, we can record in. Uh, now we are getting smartphones. Right, we'll tell them that we are recording our this session because <clears throat> when you are writing the notes, you cannot concentrate what they are telling you. So that's why generally we do uh, record it. Once we record everything, we prepare a document and we send them. Yes, this is what uh, we understood from your lecture. Like that, we discuss with the general manager finance, manager finance, and maybe manager taxation, manager casting. With all those people, we discuss and. Uh, we record the minutes and from there we prepare the as is document see generally as is document is going to be prepared by their core team their core team only they have to give and but most of the time they will not be that much comfortable in preparing that's the reason what we do we give them the templates <coughs> or sample documents we give them we ask them to prepare it but uh, 75% of the work or 50% of the work has to be done by consultants and 50% will be done by them. But anyhow, we have to bring out that document. So each and every team will go and meet the respective uh, people from the core team and discuss, understand the requirement, prepare the documentation. And once we do that, then we prepare an organization structure. Say, for example, this is Navbharat group of companies. Say, imagine that we are going to implement SAP for the Navbharat group. Uh, so what I will be doing generally in every class, I'll take one or the other project. Some projects are there. Uh, say here, say maybe uh, Dr. Reddy Labs or Sony India Limited or um, Nagarjuna group of companies, Godavari Fertilizers and Chemicals Limited. Uh, Murugappa group of companies like the different companies are there most of the projects I have done as a consultant as a project manager or as a delivery manager I've done more than around uh, uh, around 15 implementations I have done right till now so I'll be taking up one company and I simulate it for the class and I'll explain you the process and we'll go ahead like that so like this this is a Navbharat group of companies and uh, say Navbharat group of companies, they will be, they'll have say Navbharat Federal Lives, Navbharat Power, Navbharat Sugars, like that. Different companies they have under Navbharat group. <coughs> so in that group, first we have to understand their requirement. Say for example, this is, yes, this is the group. We have to create an organization structure before we go ahead with the SAP implementation right so whatever the group in SAP we call it as company so this we call it as the financial organization structure this organization structure will be preparing module wise ultimately the group chapter of accounts companies company codes will be same but maybe the organization structure will change below this level that means for materials management production planning sales and distribution everybody will have this kind of organization structure but main structure will be frozen by the fi team right first of all we prepare 